Oh, there you are. Okay, today we have a little update to our gimbal situation. I got the new DJI gimbal <coughs> with the uh, magnetic holder, which is actually very good. I really like that. That made my life a lot easier. And it also doesn't have the problem I had with the gimbal before with the Sejun. Um, you will find a um, update to uh, that uh, gimbal uh, on top. I will put a link up there because uh, with the wide angle lens you had that part on the um, on the image. And then I have the neck holder and in the past taking images with the neck holder while you were moving that was not a good idea. It, it didn't look good. It was, it was terrible. The quality was absolutely terrible. But uh, when I did the images uh, or the videos um, in the Singaporean uh, MRT, that thing was very handy because uh, nobody even realized that I was taking a video. And to be frank, I took a video with that thing with the phone in it and the headphones attached to my ears in an area where you're not allowed to take videos. But I'm not telling you where that was because I deleted the video afterwards. I was just trying to find out if that was good enough and of course it was. So now with the new iPhone 13s and the, and the image stabilization, I have now tried this one out and uh, walked outside uh, with that neck holder and the camera in here and uh, what can I tell you it's actually not that bad it, it is like um, when you have um, the camera in the gimbal in the olden days so that has made quite a bit of a difference and I'm very impressed with uh, the efforts Apple has put into the iPhone 13. But, there's always a but, if I attach the gimbal to my Z axis, yeah, that is now so smooth, it looks like you're wheeling that thing through. The only thing still needs a bit of work on when you're walking, you're not walking with a constant speed. There is these, these steps you do. It's not that up and down anymore. It's these, these steps you're doing. You still can see that. So I think I have to learn the Groucho Marx walk to eliminate that. But um, for, the, um, for the work I'm doing when you walk around and things like that, this is really good with the airflow. I strongly recommend you have a look at the airflow. I put the link underneath and uh, it is the missing axle on these gimbals and that is so good when that thing is on it. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. That was a good investment. It's a bit bulky but it does the job and that's what it's all about, isn't it? If you want to be not noticed, eh, that doesn't cut it. But anyhow. But now with the uh, neck holder, if you walk slowly and deliberate and not sort of rush things, things are pretty good now. But you have to use the wide angle lens on the iPhone to have uh, uh, that stabilization. So, yeah. Okay, so what I will do now, I will attach the iPhone 13 to it and then I will um, um, do the... Um, to the demonstration what it looks like with the neck holder and the earpiece. See you in a moment. Okay, here we go. There you have it. That is what it looks like and um, make sure it's all straight. But this is what we use the watch for. You can have a look and see if your, if your image is absolutely perfect. So, so much for that. So it really works well. I strongly recommend that uh, when you do some sneaky stuff, 
or you want, don't want to be noticed that people staring at you, you use this setup. And for really smooth and really high quality imaging, you need that setup. Okay, I'll leave you with all that and there will be some links uh, underneath and um, see you later. Bye bye.